So what is architecture? What are the different uh, tools will be there? You will be having a server. Okay, in Informatica, you will be having a server here. So this is what my server, Informatica server. It will be there in one single place. So if you are going to implement Informatica Power Center, you'll be having an Informatica server. So Power Center server, you'll be having it. So where it will be there? So based on the company's decision, if you are going for US project, then server will be there in US, only one single server. It's a development of different SIT or UQ will be different. Uh, the, the production will be different server, but we are the server, okay? So on top of Unix or Linux only, it will be running in real time. So for the security reasons, this server will be running on Unix or Linux server. What this server will do? It needs to take the data from source, read the data from the source. It's a heterogeneous source. Load the data into data warehouse or target or anything. The source to target, it should load the data. So here, we are fetching the data from here. Okay, from here we are fetching the data and then loading the data into data warehouse. So Informatica, we need to inform, right? Okay, you go to the, this particular table, which is there in the Oracle database. You load the data into a Teradata database, Teradata table on this particular. In Teradata, we will call it as a database. Say for an example, if you assume that this is a Teradata. How many schemas are there? Two schema. In this Teradata, instead of saying it's a schema, we will call it as the database one, database two, like that we will say. See, just I'm making like, a, it's not database administrator. Uh, you can make the, uh, database one and database two, something like that, okay? We will call it as it's a database, database, DBO or database. The same way here, we will call it as in Oracle, it's called it as schema. This is another schema, this is another schema. See what Informatica needs to do? Informatica needs to read the data from source. Always we will read the data from source. We will not, we will not disturb any data in the source. Source, okay? We will not change any data in the source. Just we will read it, select operation we will do. Okay, what we need to do? We need to write the data into target. So here we will disturb the data. You will insert the data. If it is new, fetching data, we will update it, the target. Okay. This is what we will do in our Informatica server. Okay. We have to tell that server, right? See, if you want to, this is post. You assume that this is the post. In the post, you will be having a two address, correct? You are having the two address. Here, you will be having the from address. See, from address to address, we have to give it to the postman. Then only he will take the data did this post from from address to to address okay this is called metadata from address to address is the metadata inside the cover you will be having actual data correct see what is the message you have to pass that will be there in your cover so that is what informatica will read the data from this table this is the actual data load the data into this table but which table we have to read so thousands of tables will be there in the source right which table should be loaded for this particular uh, business use case. You go to the schema, schema two in Oracle database by using this user ID and password. See how you will log into the database, you will see the data, you'll be having a username and password. Based on the username and password, it will be having the privileges. Either you have the uh, read privilege, write privilege, or this. You will go to this, Informatica will have his own username and password. That is called service ID. Okay. By using the service ID, getting this database username and password, it will go and connect to this database and then read the data. So that information. So you go to this particular database, you take this table, you go and load this data to a DBO on the Teradata. That information, we will store it in the repository. The repository is nothing but the from address to address and all. The address should be stored. What is the actual data? Actual data is there in the this table. So what is metadata? This is what the metadata. This metadata will be stored in repository. Clear? Repository. That is what we need to create. A rep repository also, it's a DB only. Database only. Okay. You may get confused. Here also we're saying DB. Here also we're saying DB. And 
then what is the difference i told right this is a data actual data you have to load customer data to a customer data table in the tera data this is it, metadata information okay you informatica you go to this particular database it's oracle you go and pick this data from this table load it into a tera data to this table that information is called as metadata the actual customer data will be there right in this table that is called data actual data so while running that informatica it will load the data so this is called repository it will have all the metadata metadata is nothing but data about data so from address to address all this right that is called metadata okay this is also one of the db see informatica server will run on top of one repository only database only that's why we have to first install repository on top of the repository we should install the informatica server then we should on top of this we should be installing the client so why client so we have to develop right based on our development only informatica will do that see as a developer i'm going to work on this client tool only on the client tool how many client tools will be there based on the number of developers see we are all working on the informatica project you assume that for for everybody we'll have one server in our system we'll have the client so for all the members we'll have we'll be having the this particular client tool repository manager designer workflow manager and monitor so this client tool i will explain later don't worry this client tool i will explain later you assume that by using this client tool only we are going to develop a business logic and we are going to uh, save it in the repository when we are going to run it this repository will give information to a server okay through repository services this is called repository services repository services is nothing but from this repository services only it will pass the information to server okay server you go to this particular table you read this data load it into tera data in this table that's what information it will give you so server will do will have one services called integration service by using the integration service it's like a servant okay by using this integration service this is called is it's for data movement okay data movement you will use the integration service integration service will move the data to from to target that is your source to target okay so it will have three different sorry uh, three different servant that is your thread what is the three different th thread right we have threads is called reader thread so reader thread reader thread will read the data from source transformation thread will transform the data okay that is what informatica right writer thread will write the data into target so this is the architecture of informatica power center when we are going to run this informatica server through client the repository information repository will give the information to server okay you go to this one you pick this and then pull the data it's like a postman where the developer will come into picture here the developer will come into picture etl developers here only the etl developers sitting here then they will do all the etl mapping then they will do it etl admin they will be coming picture here informatica server okay this is like who will create this table oracle in this oracle who will create informatica server will create whenever we are doing the mapping right it will maintain informatica will maintain so whenever you going to save that informatica will make an entry in the table saying that okay you go to this particular table you pick this data you do this transformation logic and load it into the target table that will will be it will be maintained in the oracle table okay uh, you assume that this is the etl process okay it's a, i'm saying you have you have different water resources okay you have different water resources you have bore well okay you have some uh, well okay you have some well you have some lake you have some river see it's a different kind of water resource right different kind of water resource i have to take water from these water resources and and uh, i have to uh, send it to a con consumer the the people sitting there there in different locations 
can i take directly all the time from this water resources and then send it to them no right what we will do we will have some over tank here right we will have some over tank so we have to do the pipeline first you do the pipeline all the water resources will not have the water on same time so this this one we have to do one one day in once this one two two times in a day we can do this is like every uh, four times five times we can do but this is like all the time we can do but summer we cannot have it something like that some different different scenario will be there right so here we have the motor just in that here we have the motor and electricity we have given so we have one start button so we are doing the this one so this is called data warehouse this is called heterogeneous sources we are doing some ro process okay ro process is nothing but your transformation logic okay so we are transforming all the different kind of sources into a single format ro what is single format right single format loading into a over tank from there we are sending to the different consumers reporting team or tableau or power bi or somebody else okay they cannot go and hit this directly to the water resource they will take it from the over tank only this process is called it as pipeline right same way here we will call it as etl pipeline either it is water pipeline the same we will call it as etl pipeline same meaning only now etl process got it this is what will happen informatica will read the data from source and target right so that logic you are going to do in informatica server so informatica what is that informatica will do we are going to do the transformation logic we are not writing any queries uh, add a queries here just we will write the transformation logic here it will read the data and load it into the target so this is client informatica client okay this is informatica power center client i have to the server i will connect it now through my username and password i will connect it has okay. been connected to a server see you are also working in the project i am also working in the project same project now multiple developers will be there right all the developers will connect to the server okay then they will do the etl logic say for an example i am working on this particular project i will join into this folder you are working in different folder to the different folder you open it and then do it see this logic we have to do it right where we will do the informatica client once you have done it save this if you are saving it it will be saved in repository okay repository it will be saved in as a metadata will it run will it move the data now no i'm going to run the workflow i will explain this okay you will get to know all this see this is tool all the client tool then where the server server is there on single one place in our system in our machine it has a server okay services that is what before starting informatica you have to start the informatica service it is running right so this is the server server running back end server we have connected through client we have applied now it has been moved the data from source to target is it moved see four partitions see all the data it is moving from source to target once you have executing it then only it will move the data so this is called a client i told right so designer workflow manager and monitor and repository manager okay server is the the server will do the server operations it will read the data from source tape database and move the data client cannot read the data from source that the client cannot read okay no it cannot read only server informatica server can read the data from here it will have the integration service it will initiate the integration service okay you go there read the data from here load the data here that's all as a etl developer i need to do the mapping logic in informatica client store it in the repository while running it it will give the information to repository repository will give information to server server will read the data to target source and target when we are going to do this one we will come to know see this one is called repository services i told right repository services rep then this is called integration service is is the integration service integration service will come into picture only on the data movement repository services will come into the while we are connecting it will be stored in the repository whether i have i have created this mapping now no right it has been created as some days before where it has been stored this logic in repository metadata 
So we have by using the Informatica client, we have created that met metadata. We are stored in the repository. Now I just connected through client. I have seen that and I'm executing it. So this time, whatever the logic I have already created, that will go to the uh, Informatica and then it will pull the data from source to target. In this table or in this flat file, you have 11 columns, you have four columns. These are all the column names. You have to read from here. You have to do joining of these two tables based on the some ID columns. Okay, department ID, department ID, you get the information, load it into the target table, this table. Just we are telling that, right? That is what as a developer, we will do it. We have developed it. We will save it while we are running it. Informatica server will have the integration service. Okay, that integration service will have the three threads. Reader thread, you go and read the data. Transformation thread, you transform the data as per the logic. As per the logic. We are joining it, right? This is the logic actually. Okay, load the data into target table. So the table information should be there for Informatica. This table structure and everything should be there for Informatica. Then only Informatica can load the data.